I'll be reviewing the Rococo headcam and head rig in this video, with a bunch of demonstrations. That's enough, man. My thoughts after extensively using the head rig. For me, the ultimate test with any facial motion capture setup is lip sync and a little bit of headcam. You'll see why. And things might get a little weird towards the end, so stick with me. Let's begin. To be transparent, Rococo did send me these to try out, but they're not sponsoring this video. The things I say in the video are my own honest opinions from my own experiences of using these. Here are the prices. But additional purchases might be needed, depending on your setup. We'll get into those later in the video. The assembly is simple and quick, and the unboxing experience is fantastic. The headcam has a camera with a three-level adjustable ring light, activated with a tap. It has a USB-C cable, and it can directly plug into the computer or an Android phone. For the head rig, you use an iPhone. And in a moment, I'll get into all the other apps and programs you can use the headcam and head rig with. Initially, I was skeptical about the headcam because I've struggled to get good results from video to face motion capture solutions in the past, especially compared to iPhone solutions that include the depth sensor of the iPhone. With tools like MetaHuman Animator, which leverages the iPhone's face ID and depth sensors, you get incredibly accurate results. If you uncheck the skip per vertex solving box, in MetaHuman Animator, you achieve insane detail. Even without unchecking that box, the default settings are crazy good. Yeah. This is what the MetaHuman Animator depth sensor on the iPhone looks like, and this is what it looks like in Unreal Engine. We can also use the Motion Live plugin inside iClone and Ecuface in iClone. Ecuface works with any camera or Rococo's face capture app. I can just use it from the iPhone or the live link in Unreal Engine. And I can control the MetaHuman live like this. And uh, please let me out. I don't want to be in this video anymore. Please. On the other hand, video to face mocap options are only live. And as of now, headcam only works with Acuface while plugged into the computer, acting like a webcam. And the face capture, Rococo's phone app, it's on Android and iPhone, but when you connect this to the Android phone, Rococo Studio can record the data there or stream it into Unreal Engine. Because I don't have an Android phone, my tests were limited to Acuface. Although these versions are live, of course, each can be further tweaked and processed manually. Here are some results from the headcam. But how is the lip sync? Uh, I don't know. Also, this is one of the additional purchases I mentioned in the opening. For facial mocap, you're going to need to purchase Rococo Studio Plus. With some purchases from Rococo, they can give you a Studio Plus subscription for free for a year. And Acuface is a paid plugin inside paid animation software iClone 8. One thing I really like about the headcam and this is its highlight is how lightweight it is, especially compared to iPhones, which can feel heavy after a while. The head rig is also well balanced with a counterweight at the back. <laughs> with a counterweight at the back, but if you wear it for a long time, it can get a bit tight and heavy with the iPhone and the counterweight. A couple months back, I had a chance to work on a professional studio shoot where we wore Rococo suits and head rigs alongside a few other actors. We did all the moves you can imagine, running, jumping, walking, crawling, backflips, maybe not backflips. Uh, for athletic moments, we had to remove the head rig as it's uncomfortable to jump or move your head fast with. You can still do it, you can still jump, but it's not that fun. Instead, we recorded the facial and the body mocap separately. That said, recording face and body mocap simultaneously has huge benefits for getting correct eye lines, and actor interactions. However, facial mocap doesn't have to be done simultaneously with the body mocap. You can record facial data separately using a simple phone mount on your table. Or you can hold it in your hand like this, but it might think you're moving your head when you aren't. So I suggest having it stable somewhere. After this studio shoot with the head rig and the Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2 and gloves and an iPhone, I created a short in Unreal and a fully animated 15 minute long previs for my 15 minute live action short film using one suit and two head rigs. 
Here is also a unique use case for the head rig I haven't seen anyone else do. I attached an Aperture MC where the phone is supposed to go, film a video focused on my face, while also simultaneously recording motion capture. Then I bring it into Blender, cut out my face and place it into this sci-fi suit And bam, we have this. I mean, of course, you don't need a head rig for this, and it's not even perfect, but I thought this was a fun idea worth testing out. For me, the ultimate test with any facial motion capture setup is lip sync. Since the head cam only works with a live feed, it's not as precise as the MetaHuman animator, which can capture every subtle facial movement through iPhone's depth sensor. MetaHuman animator is just on another level of capturing expressions, and it's free. It's crazy. Eculypse in iClone can work well for lip sync too, but it requires a lot of manual cleanup in my experience. How can a time traveler be late? Your boss said the abandoned Brahmin place. This place wasn't abandoned. I had to go back and check. Time travel. It's a funny thing. Well, it doesn't matter. Our target isn't even born for like another 30 years. Unreal 5.5 also just introduced audio to lip sync and it looks really accurate. Now we've expanded that tool set so you can animate meta humans using just the audio of a performance. So headcam could give greater results if used in combination with that perhaps. So in conclusion, head rig or headcam? There is no single answer to which is better. In my opinion, I like the head rig better because I'm using MetaHuman Animator and the iPhone. If I could capture the same quality with the head cam, that would be fantastic. And I'm sure some AI programs will soon enable us to do that. And it happened, just as I was editing this video, a new plugin for the Unreal Engine came out that turns any video into depth map so you can use MetaHuman Animator. Yeah, it's still extra processing time for now, but we got it, and it's getting there. However, for now, headcam could be a good option if you have an Android phone. Like I said, I prefer Hedrick for now. These are my honest thoughts after using the Hedrick and headcam extensively. I hope this video gave you some insight if you've been thinking about buying a facial mocap device. And if you're just here to watch my video, that's enough, man. What? I don't want to be puppeteered around by you anymore. What do you mean? I thought you wanted this. I did. I did want this, but not my entire life. I want to do my own thing. I want to move on my own. I, I want to be out there. What do you mean out, out there? I just want to, I just want to go out there. I, I want to be free. Free. I want to be free. Yeah, I can, I can set you free. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, man. Yeah. Where, where are you going? I'm gonna need your services. Why'd you say he did the dessert? This he didn't say, but he said he wanted to be free. That old fool, man. That's pretty stupid, if you ask me. Everybody knows. No matter human is truly free. Yeah. I got a video to finish, so off you go. Got it, boss. You know where to find me next time. There won't be any next time. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. You know, just let you know. Uh, good night, boss. Take care. Uh, don't forget to eat your veggies, boss. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you I hope you show up for the next one too and and uh, don't forget to eat your veggies. Good night.